Hello, I'm going to show you how to insert a graph into the Unit 7 test part 2, question 1 and 2. So I'm going to send you this graph here, and here's the title of it, Unit 7 test graph for question 1 and 2. What you need to do is go down to start, go to all programs, go to accessories, and then go to paint. Okay, so open up paint, I'll click on that, paint will open up. I'll go up to File, and then Open, and I'm going to find that I'm going to find that file right now. So uh, you can have a little, you can have a look at my hard drive and see the way I have it organized. Well, look, I have a folder for all the courses that I teach and some other things. Here's my Algebra One folder. You can see I have all my units. This is what your computer should look like, actually. So I'll go to Unit Seven. I'll go to Unit 7 Test, that's where I have it, and there it is, Unit 7 Test Graph for Questions 1 and 2. I'll open it, it opens up in paint. Then, you know, you, you have to have done the work for the questions already. So you, once you did do the work on pencil and paper, on your gr on um, separate piece of graph paper, then you'll open this up and transfer that information onto here. So I'm just going to make up some numbers, we'll say, okay, well, here's, uh, we use the pencil, and we'll say, well, let's say the answer included this point right here, and maybe this point right here, so we'll use the pencil tool for that. And you'll want to label them, so this point is x equals 4, y equals 5, 4 and 5, and you can label them using the pencil tool. And this point is, oh, negative 6 and uh, 3. So once you have them labeled, then you go to the line tool, select the line tool, and start at one of the points, uh, click on it, and then extend it through the other one. This is the only way you're really going to get a straight line. Click off, and then click on the other point, and then extend it through the first point. And that's how you'll get the line to go in both directions. Go back to the pencil tool and put the... Um, arrow on it, okay, boom, and voila, now you have it. Now what you'll need to do is go up to File, Save as, save this image as, uh, just pick, say it's the first question, just erase the N2, save it as uh, unit test graph for question one, we'll leave it there like that, come up to Edit, go to Select All, go back to Edit, go copy. <clears throat> now made a copy of it, put it on the clipboard. Open up your test. Here's your test here. Make sure get the uh, insertion point where you want it to be and then go up to edit and paste. Voila, there's your answer right there. Then um, you go back and repeat the process for the second question right here. And the way you do that is, well, you go back in your paint and you'll see open and then you do open up the original one, seven, um, uh, unit seven test graph for questions one and two, and that'll give you a blank, that'll give you a blank uh, graph. <clears throat> do the same thing, repeat the process, and make sure you do the file, <clears throat> save as, and save it as um, question number two, so that you'll have that there. Hopefully you found this to be helpful.